Hi, my name is Lynn, and today I would like to discuss the topic of blessings with you. First, please pray with me. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for all the love, blessings, and goodness which you bestow upon us. Thank you for scripture that gives us comfort and reminds us of your promises, especially in these times of uncertainty. Remove our fears and worries and allow us to constantly be reminded that you will continuously shower blessings upon us. Amen. How many of these expressions have you heard over the years? Count your blessings. I am so blessed. It's such a blessing to have you as my friend. God bless you, by the way, which is only said when you sneeze, not when you cough. That's a mixed blessing. Let's ask for a blessing before we eat. I'm sure you are able to add many, many more to this list. The word blessing could be defined as God's favor, or a person's sanction or support, or something you ask God for, or something for which you are grateful. Blessings come in many forms, and at times you may not even realize they are blessings, or at other times you think these cannot possibly be blessings. The easy and enjoyable ones to identify include the natural beauty of the world, the abundance and variety of food we are able to eat, our family, our friendships, our talents, and professions, and many forms of entertainment we are able to participate in and enjoy, and obviously our freedom to openly worship God. Again, I'm sure you are able to add many more to my list. These are all blessings which sometimes, and perhaps too often, we take for granted. When we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, he freely showered upon us the blessings of his forgiveness, healing, redemption, loving kindness, tender mercies, justice, grace, and patience. In Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, he points out that sometimes blessings do not promise laughter, pleasure, or earthly prosperity, but rather deal with being poor in spirit, mourning, being hungry and thirsty, being persecuted, and the like. The Beatitudes found in the Sermon on the Mount indicate that you will experience hope and joy independent of outward circumstances and therefore will be blessed. A couple of words of caution with blessings. In 2 Kings 4, a widow with two sons appeals to Elisha for help. She has a little bit of oil, but not enough to sell to keep her sons from being taken as slaves by the widow's creditors. Elisha tells her to be bold in asking her neighbors for all their empty oil jars so that they can be filled with oil and sold. In the privacy of her home, she began filling the oil jars she had collected starting with a small amount of oil she had in her cupboard. The oil supply never ran out until the jars she had asked her neighbors for were all filled. There were no more to be filled because she had not asked for more. Beware of limiting God's blessings by a lack of faith. We likewise will not receive God's blessings if we have doubt, unthankful and hardened hearts, and refuse to listen and appeal to our Lord. On the other hand, do not let an abundance of blessings make you feel independent and forgetful of God. Let your wealth, talents, success draw you closer to God. God does hold us 
accountable for how we share our blessings with others. All we have or are blessed with belongs to him, and we must use God's gifts with God's interests in mind. Then we can feel confident that we are a blessing to God. The next time you are tempted to say, Oh, you are so lucky. I lucked out, or lucky break. Please bite your tongue before you speak and replace luck or lucky with blessed. Luck is not involved. God is. And now let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for being in charge of our lives and for giving us exactly what we need so that we may be a blessing to others. Amen.